Hello everyone, it's me again, Kiana, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing the coffee book tag. It's about eight questions and all based off certain kinds of coffee. I absolutely love coffee. I'm a true Hispanic. I was taught from a very young age to drink coffee. So let's just go ahead and get started with this video. So the first question is black. Name a, name a series that was tough to get into but has hardcore fans. For me, that would have to be the Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare, which is the first, like, series in the Shadowhunter world. If you don't know what the Shadowhunter world is, you live under a rock. So, the first book is City of Bones. This is the last book, City of Heavenly Fires. And we meet a girl named Clary Frey, who believes she's starting to see shit. I believe she sees, like, a demon get murdered, and she tries to confront them, and she finds out that she is a shadow hunter, that her mom has, like, hid away her memories and stuff like that. It has been really long since I read the first series, so I forgot like a bunch of stuff, but it was really hard to get into, but once you're into it, you're sucked into it for life, and I absolutely adore this series. Question number two is Peppermint Mocha. Name a book that gets more popular during the winter or festive um, season. So for me, that would have to be A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I believe everyone in the booktube community when it starts to get around christmas and around december reads this a christmas carol is one of a very famous story that has been pay, um, made into multiple plays multiple different movies and part of shows at time and we follow a man named ebenezer scrooge who is a very bitter mean old man who just doesn't believe and celebrating doesn't believe in helping the poor and stuff like that and he gets visited by three ghosts the ghost of christmas past the ghost of christmas present and the ghost of christmas future to basically try to like show him okay you became this way because of this this will happen continue if you continue to be this rude and unhelping and this is how people will celebrate your death once you die i read this for the first time this year as um a part of one of my assignments from one of my british literature classes and i absolutely did enjoy this and i think everyone should read this around christmas time question number three is hot chocolate what is your favorite children's book so growing up i did read a lot so i have multiples but my number one favorite will always be the magic treehouse series we follow this brother and sister i think one of their names is like alex and they have this tree house in the back of their house that when certain stuff if i remember correctly when certain stuff pops into um it and they grab it they go back in time like to the dinosaurs to samurai i used to be obsessed with the series and i passed it on to my niece like all of my books i had like 30 of them i passed it on to my niece and i got her to read it and it's absolutely one of my favorite series ever and then another one would be the junie b jones series um my name is Junie B. Jones and the B stands for Beatrice, but I don't really tell people that. I used to love that. I thought it was very adorable. I started reading that, I think, in like the third grade. But those two were my most favorite like children's series growing up. Number four is Double Shot of Expresso. Name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. That would have to be They Both Die at the End by Adam Severa. In this, in this book, it's basically in a world that you get notified 24 hours before you die. And within those 24 hours, you are allowed onto this app to basically meet with other people who are dying that day or to meet with a counselor to basically help you set up arrangements and stuff like that. So we follow um, two characters, Mateo and Rufus. And they both get the alert that within 24 hours, they are going to die. They don't really know how they're going to die. And this is them basically finding each other, becoming friends, and then becoming lovers, and dying. This had me sobbing. I read it last year during quarantine for the first time. Absolutely love this. Kept you on my, kept you, keeps you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. Question number five is Starbucks. Name a book you see everywhere you go. That, of course, would be A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, along with Throne of Glass. Um, every bookshop I step into has this, especially now that these new covers have come out and now that it's going to be adapted into a Hulu, um, series. A Court of Thorns and Roses is a, I believe now a five book series. In the first three books, we follow a girl named Farah Archeon, who is the middle sister and is basically the one helping to take care of all of the siblings and to make sure that the family is kept alive. She goes out into the woods one day to hunt and she kills a wolf. What she doesn't know is that the wolf was a fae and under the fae law, she is now being taken back to the spring court under the high lord 
Tamlin to basically serve out the rest of her days because she killed one of his men. Absolutely love this series. Can't wait to start my reread. Question number six is the hipster coffee shop. Give a book by an indie author a shout out. So I haven't read, I think to my knowledge, any indie book, indie authors. But if you guys can recommend any below, that would be amazing. But I just haven't read any. Question number seven is, oops, I accident accidentally got decaf. Name a book you were expecting more from. It takes a lot for me not to like a book. But I don't really think I have any books that I was expecting more out of that I can count off the top of my head. And then question number eight, which is the last question, is the perfect blend. Name a book or series that was both bitter and sweet but ultimately satisfying. For that, I would have to go with All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. This is the first and I believe a duology. I've only read the first one. And I say it's both bitter and sweet because it starts off really tough with finding out that she is able to control people through the, um, through their blood. And then it starts to get sweet when she like realizes that she loves this guy and everything like that. I really did enjoy this. Cannot wait to read the second book. But that is all for this coffee book tag. I will be leaving on the side of me two videos. I feel like you guys should go check out. I try my hardest to post twice a week. And I'll hopefully see you guys very soon with another video. Bye guys.